Hey crew, Coach Josh here with GarageGangGyms.com. Let's get warmed up for our leg day. I'm gonna take you through a three move circuit, a cardio move, a strengthening move, and a mobility drill. We're gonna go through it three times. Let's get after it. So you guys can do air bike like I'm doing, very short, 30 seconds to a minute first. You could do walking uphill on a treadmill, go outside for a light jog, row machine, whatever. Just get your core warm. All right, so for me, I'm doing GHRs, glute ham raises. Nice, slow stretch, curl myself up, <clears throat> focusing on keeping my lower back nice and tight. Now, as you can see to my side here, I have another exercise going at the same time using a slider or a ball. You can do your leg curls that way, really trying to focus on getting those hamstrings ready. Most of the time, people don't give their hamstrings enough effort. And when it comes to their lower body days, they fall behind. So we warm things up with our hamstrings, get them doing 10 or so reps, then we'll move on to our first stretch. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring my ribs down by exhaling so it's nice and tight, by pushing down into my object just slightly, my hips are gonna come up slightly, and I'm already gonna feel my hamstrings on. I can stretch, I can curl, I can stretch, I can curl, constantly pushing down, keeping my hips in the exact same place. The tendency with sliders or a ball is as you curl in, it's to lift your hips up, and we want to avoid that. That's just an action of our lower back, and again, we're trying to make sure we feel those hamstrings. Okay, so this stretch, we're gonna be using a barbell. If you're doing back squats or deadlifts today, I highly recommend using your bar for the day. I'm gonna spread my legs nice and wide, my heels are up against the bar itself, and I'm grabbing onto this bar, feeling a stretch in my groin. As you can see to my side, if you don't have a bar, maybe you're at home, you can do this exercise on a wall. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to bring my hips forward, getting my chest nice and tall. I can walk my hands over to one side, favoring my groin, my hamstring on the other side, walk it back and forth. We can hold this for about 30 seconds. And I'm just gonna keep going while I instruct those that are using the wall. Okay, I'm gonna have my hip up against the wall. I'm gonna turn my body as I lay down. I'm gonna place my feet on the wall in a similar position I would have them with the bar. Okay, so what I'm thinking about from this spot is I'm trying to push out through my feet in either direction. So I'm leading my heels out. What that's gonna do is activate my glutes. If you have that bar and you're pulling by pushing your heels out, that can help as well. So I'm getting a nice stretch in my groin, and I'll hold this. I can favor one side, switch to the other side. You're not gonna get the same reaching you would with the bar, but this will open your hips up nonetheless so that you're more ready for your leg day. So after doing your cardio again, let's crank into those hamstrings some more. I'm making mine a little bit harder. You guys can keep yours the same. I'm now gonna do Nordic leg curls. Hooking up, I'm gonna to try to control myself down. It's all about keeping that lower back in control. Your lower back, if it stays, your hamstring has something to anchor on. You might be working on those sliders right now. Maybe that was that stability ball. Whatever you gotta to do to make sure you're making it a little bit harder. If you're using a stability ball or sliders, maybe you do a few extra reps. Maybe you go a little bit slower. Again, we're trying to get prepared for this leg day ahead of us. Next mobility drill is great. We're gonna use the wall. This is great, especially for those of you who didn't use a bar and you wanna get some hamstring work in as well. So I'm gonna stand about a foot away from the wall, maybe eight inches. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep my ribs down. I'm going to bend at the waist until my butt touches the wall, getting a little bit of hamstring work, keeping my full foot pressure. Then when my butt touches the wall, what I'm gonna to try to do is rotate my knees outward. As I squat down, my butt's just barely touching the wall. It's there for support if I need it. Then I can reach my arms between my knees and try to have as flat of a back as I can. I'll hold this for a second or two, and then I'll stand up. Again, bend over, if your butt touches the wall, that's fine. Opening those hips up, rotating the knees out, squatting down, pushing against my legs, nice flat back coming back up. We'll do this five times. Chest out and up. 
tip. If you gotta use the wall, use it. If not, no big deal. You can stay in here and rock. We're just trying to get our bodies ready, trying to get our bodies moving. That way we're ready if we're doing back squats, front squats, deadlifts, goblet squats, lunges, whatever it is. Back to the air bike. Okay, this next drill, if you're able to use a machine like this, a Roman chair, you're gonna to wanna to use a plate. If you don't have a Roman chair or access to one, just look to the side. We're doing Supermans on the floor and even something called an Iron Man if you can't do that. But what's really nice about this is when you're doing squats, when you're doing deadlifts, it's yes, a big time lower body exercise, but it's also a lot of upper body going on, especially in the back squat. So what I like to do with the plate is row it to my chest so that I get a good amount of upper back engagement because if that bar's sitting across my shoulders, I want to make sure my back stays tight. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my lower back as extended as possible while keeping that mid-back pressure. Then I'm just going to push my hips into the pad. I'm going to tip over, trying to keep that lower back flat, mid-back tight, and push. Nice, slow control. If you want to add a little intensity, you can just... Hold this top position, down, push. Keeping it nice and tight. Again, we're warming up, but we're also now starting to prime our body if we're doing back squats, RDLs, deadlifts, anything like that, because now we're incorporating a little bit of weight. We're really locking in that hip extension and getting that mid-back to do its job. So Supermans are great. They're great at engaging your lower back. What we want to do is, we want to push our belly into the floor first. So I'm pushing my belly into the floor. That's going to help me turn on my lower back. Then I'm going to push my hips into the ground, just like those lower back extensions. From there, I'm going to try to lift my chest up. If I can lift my feet, that's great. Not needed though. You can keep your feet down. Then from here, keeping my chest, I'm going to try to reach my arms as far forward as I can. Now, true Superman, your arms come up behind your head. But for some of you, it's going to be right here. And we're going to hold. Three, two, one, and down. We're gonna find our lower back by relaxing our stomach, push our hips into the ground, chest comes up, reach our arms up, hold down. We're getting similar engagement, similar activation. If it's too hard for you to pick your chest up, by actually putting your hands behind you, you're able to re retract those shoulders a little bit better and pick your chest up a little bit higher. Again, we're trying to get that lower back and mid back ready for our leg day today. Okay, so my butt's up, up against the wall. I'm gonna take just a little bit of a step away so that I have some space for when I'm squatting. In my feet, I feel pressure behind my big toe, behind my pinky toe, and on the inside of my heel. So those three points of contact. I'm gonna put my hands behind my head, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a big exhale first so that my ribs come down. It's gonna look like this. <sighs> From there, I'm gonna to try to breathe while keeping my ribs slightly down. And while I keep my ribs down, I'm going to try to lift my chest up without this big flare. So ribs are down, chest is up. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate at the knee, and I'm going to try to squat down as far as I can, keeping that pressure in my big toe, my pinky toe, and in the middle of my heel. So from here, I'm starting to flare, so I'm going to fix that. If I need the wall, I'm just going to sit on the wall, hold this for a second, stand back up. When you stand back up, make sure those three points of contact, you're pushing through those three points. Ribs are down, take a breath. Three points of contact, squatting, 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 squatting. Feeling that foot pressure, keeping my chest up without letting my ribs flare. Going as low as I possibly can. Feeling my quads burning, pushing back up, taking another breath. Again, if I need to, I can use the wall. Trying to stay on my legs the best I can. So there you go, guys. You guys are warm. You guys are ready for your leg day. If you guys need help with your form, if you're in the app, remember, you just click on the video. It's going to teach you everything you need to know. Those videos are timestamped. If you're not in my workout app, no problem. Go to my YouTube channel, garagegangyms.com. Make sure you subscribe and like. A lot of the videos that we talk about, a lot of the form videos, they're going to be on there. They're just released a little bit slower. There's still plenty of information for you guys to get. So let's get after it. It's leg day. It's my favorite day of the week.